Hey what's up guys, Plan here. So for today, we're gonna look at another interesting BTO6 build for purple. It has been days since the release of BTO6 and ever since then, there have been so many decks out there. Like for example, there is the ASMON build, there's also the Gabumon Bond of Friendship, and of course the very popular Jessmon build. Um, on this video, I'm actually trying to brew a very, very unconventional build for um, for purple. Let's start with our Digitama. We have the four copies of Demi Merriman. So after play testings, um, I still believe that Demi Merriman is the best Digitama at the moment. But the new Digitama from BT06 uh, Tsunamon is really, really close. It just depends on how you want to build around your deck if you are um, kind of building on discarding cards from your hand onto your trash then maybe Tsunamon is for you but for players like me um, who wants to attack with his rookies and put pressure on the early parts of the game um, I would rather pick Demi Merriman because most probably my rookies would die and then Demi Merriman's ability gets triggered so Demi Merriman for me is still the best Digitama for purple Okay, enough with our Digitama. Let's move on to our level 3s. First, we have the BTO2 Impmon. So, BTO2 Impmon is there so that we can um, feed up our trash because you can see with my deck build, I am quite really, really reliant on my trash pile. That's why I want as much cards as possible on my trash pile. Moving on, we got the new 4 copies of the Impmon from BTO6. So, what this Impmon does is that um, on play, whenever we hard cast him, um, we can trash one card from our hand, and if we do, we can return one Digimon card with uh, seven Great Demon Lords or three Musketeers on its type. Uh, if you would notice, it, as we move on to this video, most of, I mean, all of our level sixes are either uh, seven Demon Lords or a three Musketeer Digimon. So this Impmon is a really good card, not only. Um, because it, we can discard the option cards that we don't want on our, ha our hand and then in exchange we can get those level 6 that are really crucial on our um, on this deck build. Okay, now on to our next rookie. We have the 4 copies of the ever staple for purple, Tapermon. So Tapermon is just there to draw you cards. Um, nothing more, nothing less. He's just the best rookie for every purple deck. So not having Tapermon is really a sin for every purple player. Okay, next on our rookie list, we have the two copies of Gazimon. So, ever since the Memory Boosters came out, it has been really, really prevalent on every deck. That's why having those memory stoppers like Gazimon, Terriermon, um, Chumon for Black, it's quite important to have at least one or two copies um, as your deck card so that you can avoid those extended plays by your enemies. Okay, now we're moving on to our champions. This is where it kind of gets unconventional because I only run four copies of champions. I don't even have a blocker on this deck, which is kind of questionable for some players. But I do have tons of removal, which we'll um, dig, I mean, which we'll discuss uh, later on on this deck preview. So our four copies of champions are the four copies of Raremon. So Raremon is there because I I just want to pile up my trash as as quick as possible. Because I want to warp Digivolve my Imp onto my Bilzimon or even trigger some of my other cards which are quite reliant on my trash pile. So Raremon is there just to uh, feed up my trash and maybe you can get some uh, clutch removals if you need them early on the game. But most of the Raremon jobs is just to, you know, um, pile up your trash pile. Okay, now we're moving on to our only copies of level 5. Again, this is quite unconventional. We have the 4 copies of Chimeramons. So, most likely we won't be digivolving into our Chimeramons or the Raremons. Rather, we, we we would like to hard play them. So, Chimeramons hard play skill is whenever we play him, we get to... Um, we can... We, we have the option to delete one of our other Digimons. In return, we can delete one of our opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. So as I've said before, we have tons of removals on this deck and Chimeramon is one of them. Okay, now we're moving on to our Demon Lords and our Musketeers. Actually, this deck is kind of expensive because most of them are Secret Rares. So let's move on first with the BTO2 Secret Rare uh, Bilzimon. So Bilzimon was quite out of the spotlight for some time. I think ever since BT4 came out because 
The other purple level 6s are just so beefy and their effects are so impactful. That's why the warp digivolution of Dizumon has been um, ruled out as as one of the roster spots for the um, PTO5 or before uh, purple builds. But on this deck build, I chose Dizumon because first, we now actually have 8 influence on this deck list thanks to PTO6. And second, we have a way to return um, Bilzimon from the trash pile onto our hand with our BTO6 M1. So, you would be really surprised on how easily we can digivolve into our Bilzimon with this deck build. And I think Bilzimon finally has a chance to be included on a purple deck roster. Now let's move on to our next Demon Lord. We have the two copies of the Death Month. So, Lethmon is just here for the added flavor because um, yes, he she is another Demon Lord. But secondly, we are playing tons of um, option cards on the deck list. That's why the static effect of Lethmon is very useful on our end. So her effect is whenever we use an option card, we gain two memories. That two memory is quite important because first we are actually trying to extend our place. I mean, we are actually trying to extend our memory count because most of the time we are um, hard casting Digimons and secondly we have tons of option cards on this deck list that's why we can utilize the Lithmon effect so Lithmon even though we are running just two copies of her just to you know add some spice up to our deck um, sometimes we can actually play Lithmon so yeah Lithmon is actually a good fit for this deck list Okay, moving on to our next level 6s, we have the new secret rare from, from BTO6. As I've said before, we are gonna run tons of secret rares on this decklist, and it's gonna be expensive. So, our next secret rare is a Bill Starmon from BTO6. So, Bill Starmon, first, she is a 3 Musketeer Digimon, so we can actually get her back from our trash via our BTO6 Impmon. And secondly, her on play skill is really, really interesting. So, Let's take a look at that. Um, so whenever we play Bullstorm 1, we can return one option card with a memory cost of 7 from our trash onto our hand. And then we can use one option card with memory cost of 7 again from our hand without paying its memory cost. So essentially, you are... you are um, Yes, um, Bullstorm 1 is 12, 12 memory to hard play, but essentially she is a pseudo 5 cost Digimon because you are playing for free a 7 cost removal card and that removal card is really really um, crucial on this necklace. So Bilstarmon is a really good card on you know um, just adding more bodies on the field as well as removing more bodies on your opponent's field. But as a bonus, whenever we are playing um, Bilstarmon from our hand, we can reduce its play cost by 1 for each 3 Musketeers Digimon card or an option card with 7 cost from our trash. So if we have like... Um, five seven cost option cards on our trash and then one another i mean another build starmon on our trash then it's gonna be six uh, on the count build starmon will only cost six to hard play and whenever we hard play her we can actually um, freely cast a seven cost option card from our hand so build starmon is a really really um value card for purple and i think she really fits the the theme of this deck since she is a three musketeers and she kind of looks like a demon lord for me. Okay, so wrapping up our Digimons, we have the four copies of a secret rare. Yes, another secret rare from BTO5, which is Omnimon Zwart Defeat. So I included Zwart Defeat firstly because um, whenever we hard play our Bill Starmon, she just becomes a beat stick and our opponent usually doesn't care about her anymore. So if that's the case, then we can actually Digivolve her into uh, our Omnimon Zwart Defeat. And then we can destroy our, one of our opponent's pesky tamers. And in return, um, Omnimon's War Defeat is like a ticking time bomb on our opponent's side. Because whenever um, Omnimon's War Defeat gets deleted, we can delete one of our opponent's Digimon. So this is quite useful with the combo of Chimeramon. So we delete War Defeat with Chimeramon. In return, we can delete up to two um, Digimons of our opponent. So Zwart Defeat is a really good card on not only uh, destroying your opponent's memory, I mean your opponent's tamers, but as well as destroying um, most of their Digimons. As a bonus, which is I really, really like with Omnimon Zwart Defeat, whenever we get um, our opponent gets security check our Zwart D, uh, Zwart Defeat gets into the battle without us um, paying its memory cost. 
So, Zwart Defeat can actually turn the tides if your opponent is not really careful with their attacks because it can um, cause some miscalculations on the number of attacks that we can do on our turn. So, for example, if our opponent has like uh, three security cards on their pile and then we only have three Digimons and he is assuming that we can defeat him on our turn and then suddenly he attacks and we security check a Zwart Defeat, suddenly we have four attacks on our next turn. So Zwart Defeat is a really surprise card which can really really win us games. Okay, so now let's talk about our Tamer. We have three copies of Matt Ishida. So Matt Ishida is here firstly because I want to always start my memory count um, on 3 just in case I'm gonna digivolve my Chimera Mon into my Lift Mon. And as well as whenever we play Matt Ishida, we can get actually get one purple Digimon or purple option card from our graveyard onto our hand. So most of the times we would probably get our build star mons, our or our imp mons or our build mons from our trash. But there would actually be instances that you just wanna get your Gazi mons maybe to stop your opponents from gaining more memory or taper mons just so we can draw more cards. So Matt Ishida is a very versatile tamer for purple. Okay, now we're moving on to our option cards. We have tons of option cards on this deck list. First, we have the four copies of the new option card from B206, Fly Bullet. So Fly Bullet is a seven cost option card. Um, it is actually a hard removal for purple because we can delete a level six or below Digimon. And as a bonus, if our opponent gets to security check our um, Fly Bullet, we can activate it um, this card's main effect without paying its memory cost. So Fly Bullet is a really good card on just um, spot removing your opponent's level 6s or below Digimon. Okay, next on our option card list, we have the 4 copies of Trump Sword, another 7 cost um, option card. So Trump Sword, unlike um, Fly Bullet, we can actually delete even level 7s, but the drawback is that you can only delete unsuspended Digimon. So for me, Fly Bullet is... Uh, is more preferable than Trump Sword, but since we need to run more removals on this decklist and because I mean we don't have any blockers and we are quite reliant on our removals, um, we have to include Trump Sword. So next on our option card list, we have the Grave Memory Boost. So this is a new memory boost from BTO6. What it does uh, is that whenever we play it, we can return one purple Digimon card from our trash onto our hand. And just like the other purple memory boost, it has a delay skill wherein we can gain 2 memory. So this grave memory boost is better than the other memory booster because first, um, we are adding more cards on our trash on a regular basis. That's why it's like we can actually pick the cards that we want to get onto our hand with our grave memory boost or even Matt Ishida. So I think grave memory boost is a really good fit for this, um, for this deck list. As a bonus, if we actually have a Lilithmon on our field and then we play Grave Memory Boost. So Grave Memory Boost is like a pseudo one cost um, option card, which in return on your next turn, we, you can actually gain two more memory. So Grave Memory Boost is like a plus one on our memory count if we have Lilithmon. So the game plan of this decklist is that you have to attack aggressively on the early parts of the game so that your Impmon and Tapermons gets deleted and then you can pile up your trash as soon as possible. With that being said, you can finally utilize your Bilzumon's um, Warp Digivolution effect as well as your um, Memory Reducing Cost Bilzumon on play effect. Another thing is that with so much cards on your trash pile, you actually have um, a variety of um, uh, choices with your Grave Memory Boost and Matt Ishida. So have, your trash pile is really really important on this kind of deck build. And that's it for today's video guys. If you love the deck list or just love the deck preview, please do subscribe to the channel. I also have a Facebook page at SaberKlein. And if you have any comments or suggestions regarding my deck list, just comment them down below on the comment section. And I guess that's it for today guys. Till next time, peace out.